Hi guys, Channel Master 100. Got some new Bakugan. Um, we'll start off with the battle gear. So, I just kind of want to show it. Um, Terror Crest Copper. Um, it is, um, 90 G's. Um, it's a combat set, and if you're wondering why it wasn't gold, they have new combat sets out. You know, wave two and three ones. Yeah, now, look at what they updated it to. They updated the Phosphos one to an Aquas. Pretty nice. The Sabador one actually has a Subterra, and the Lion Halt has a, um, Darkest 740. I'm the first on YouTube to have this one. Um, and the the um Sabador it now has instead of a gold Chompix, it has a copper Chompix. I didn't get these two because I don't want to waste the money because I already have them. And um, the Darkest Line Halt. Instead of a gold boom mix, it has a um, silver boom mix. Okay, so now to the wave five slash three triad. Came with one of the wave three. I'm okay with that. Looks pretty cool actually. Um, hang on, I'll show you, show it to you in a second. Uh, If I could just open up its horn, hand, it'll take a second. Okay. There we go. That kind of testier. Yeah. Um. Not as strong, but a lot. 770 for Aquas. Pretty good. Um, Adamacor. And Chaos this time. Yeah, um, that's how it looks. This one is powerful. This, uh, unlike Subterra, instead of the 1,150, it is um, a little bit lower. 1,120. Um, and I got a Pyrus one. I really like it. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It isn't as strong, but I really like it. Looks awesome. It's Pyrus Gren. I saw a Megaris in Aquas or Subterra, something like that. But I like this one. We. Oh yeah, just to let you guys know, at the store I did see a Pyrus Lithrus, a Darkest Translucent Rubinoid, and a Subterra Translucent Rubinoid. So we're starting to get some new ones out. Um, just to let you guys know, Target has got some new stuff, like the combat sets and booster packs, and especially these little wave fives. Um, like I said, it isn't as strong. It's a 920. Um, So, I still have a stronger one than 100, I mean 1,100. Okay, now for the cards. Base is a Drago. I already have this card. Um, Lumino Drago. Yeah, Lumino. 
says, only players with at least one unevolved dragon in the game may play battle here. Ooh, that worked good with um Helix. Um, the weakest is Aqua Set 10. The most powerful is Pyro Set 200, and Ventus is 120. Put that down. Then there's a Copper Lance. Ooh. That is Blitz Dragonoid. So it looks like um Jet Core 2.0. Um something like that. I'm pretty sure they made a Jet Core 2.0. Yeah. I saw that on the wiki um a few month like a month ago. But I don't know like two months ago, but I don't know if they changed or what. It's weakest for Hayas at zero, and it's best for Dark is at 200, and Ventus is in the middle at 100. And it says, so it's called Copper Lance. Copper gear may give their printed G power an extra time. Okay. That'd be good for my Terra Crest over here. Um. This one came with a Boss Boss. Um, it's called Boss Boss's Boss Boss Armor. Well, Armory, sorry. Boss Boss gets plus 100 G power for each gear played at this battle. Nice. It's best for Aquas at 200. It's worst for Subterra and Hayas, both. Um, it's at 60. And this is 150. Um, Okay, they really, this is really starting to get annoying. VR Arena, 16. And, I don't know, some unknown box gun. That might be Quake Dragon on it or something. I'm not sure. It's kind of confusing. I don't know what that is. The highest is for Aquas at 150, tied with, um, Dark is at 150. The lowest is Subterra and Pyrus at 100, and Ventus is 120. And just to let you guys know, it's tied with Hayas at 120. This isn't a very good um, gate card to use in bed. Just saying that. Um, yeah, rule book, of course. And instructions for Phosphos. Phosphos, whatever you want to call them. I like to call them boss boss. I don't know why. I got um all these ability cards except for the um reference card is level two. Um, see, level two. Some kind of picture of a spider-like background. It's called Mudmaster. Um, it says play for your all sub here. If there is a battle. This turn, your background gets plus 100 G power while this card is in your used file. You may play, you may reroll Aquas once per turn. I don't really get that card. Um, and finally, you know the reference cards, right? Look what they gave me a Terror Crust. They got it right. Yes. This is Terror Crust. So Terra. All gate bonuses lower than 100 are raised to 100. Darkest, the player with the most gate cards in their used file cannot play ability cards. Okay, that's a um, good one. Um, might hear a little noise in the background. You could just ignore. Um, so there's an orange card, a blue card. And the weird thing is, um, see, orange card, blue card, and now the one I'm going to show you, the purple card. It has a nice picture of Aquas Gren. Um, oh yeah, level two. Um, Gren evolves from any Savdor or Fangoid under 700 G power. 
Okay, I don't have a Fangoid, but I do have a 670G Sabador. That'd work pretty well. Um, unique. If your enemy has an involved black gun, you may play your unused gun on any gate card instead of rolling it. Ooh, that's a nice one. I like that. Um, another purple card. Ooh, level two. Domacore. Yeah. Um, evolved from any Avior or Lion Halt under 700 G power. I don't have it. Um, unique. All blue ability cards you play in battles where you have a Domacore are moved to your unused pile at the end of battle. Um, kind of pointless. Um, so yeah. That was everything. And just to let you guys know, the awesome combo of Terror Crest and Phosphos. Um, you guys seen a lot of Phosphoses. Mostly Pyrus and Ventus. Some Darkest, some Hass. Maybe even some Subterra, but you never seen really Aquas that much. Look at that awesomeness. Um, and this was not from Australia. A lot of people that have these kind of phosphoses are from Australia. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's all, pretty much. Comment, thumbs up, subscribe, and hope you liked the video. So, see ya.